Okay, so let's talk about subdivisions and odd meetings. Um, every rhythm in the world. Okay, I'm, I want to be careful what I'm saying now. Let's say pretty much all the rhythms that you come across. No matter if they have very strange meters like 7, 7, 8, or 11, 8, or 15, 8. They can all subdivided, be subdivided into twos and threes. And, uh, or twos and threes and fours, but the four again can be subdivided into twos. Once you understand the system, you can play any strange rhythm in the world. Let's rephrase that. You can play all the rhythms you usually encounter. Um, let's take an example. We have a 7-8 rhythm, subdivided 3-2-2. Um, the rhythm sounds like this. Can you guys, um, can one of you guys count this for me? Okay. One, two, one, two, one, three. No, one, two, three, one, two, three. And clap the main axis.
So right now we've, we've had it like this. With the straight bodies, the same with the sounds and feeds very different. Если вы таким образом, это позволит вам использовать вот это деление на 
So you have the possibility to play variations in five or in seven over a very normal, normal beat. То есть вы можете играть на ровный бит, но при этом делать вариации на пять, семь и так далее. So then, then uh, we're here now. Okay. So you can do that, of course, with any odd meter rhythm. Like, for example, in five. Okay. 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 And it's nice when you have two of these, you have a nice so the next step, you will disconnect your speaking from the clapping. So, you start like this. Then you stop speaking. But you need for this, you really need to feel the connection between the clapping and the feet.
variation that uh, come out of this. А что вариации, которые получаются из этого? They are very funky, not so obvious. Они не очевидные, очень интересные. Because often when you start to to improvise on an instrument, it can sound like this.
Yeah. <laughs> 